Hey, what is up, everybody? This is Steve Breach coming to you with a video. I'm going to be talking about the summertime feuds for Monday Night Raw. I've been checking out the uh, house show uh, lineups for the uh, California shows coming up. That normally gives you a little tip off to what's going to be happening when uh, SummerSlam, or I apologize, when SummerSlam rolls around. Um, it looks like uh, the rumors have finally came in. Alberto Del Rio will finally be challenging for that title once again. Uh, check out a good video from Jess today. He was talking about. Uh, the reasons why Alberto Del Rio has not become champion of WWE yet. And I've been on that train as well. I've been saying that Alberto Del Rio to me reminds me a lot of when Ric Flair came over from WCW to WWF in 1991. Uh, the real world's champion gimmick. And I, and I believe that El Del Rio has everything it takes to become the champion. And I hope he is the one guy uh, that can uh, be it with this being in uh, Hollywood. They go L.A. show for SummerSlam this year. I wouldn't be surprised if The Rock is somehow involved in this. Um, you know, whether he comes into uh, you know to, to, to uh, build up for WrestleMania, help uh, um, John Cena lose the title to Del Rio, one way or another, I, I think Del Rio is walking out of here with the WWE Championship, and will, will hopefully be a uh, long time run to get some closer out of the summer into uh, WrestleMania uh, time. I am uh, going on the uh, the record saying that I, I don't want the uh, Rock versus John Cena. Um, a match at WrestleMania, I do not want it to be for the championship. I do not want anything to tip off to what, what's going to happen. I, I do believe that the uh, the Rock will be uh, uh, laying down for John Cena. I think that is their way of passing the torch uh, to the next people from the Attitude Era to the PG Era. And um, I, I really am looking forward to this. I, I think that it's going to be a great match. And I don't want anything to tip off what I think is going to happen. If John Cena walks in with the belt, you honestly know that John Cena is going to win. You don't think there's any way in the back of your mind that the Rock could... Uh, I could win it. Uh, just, just because, you know, The Rock ain't going to be there tomorrow. The Rock's going to show up. And he's going to do his job for WrestleMania, and then, you know, it'll be on to his next opponent. There's no way The Rock's going to take on uh, being the champion. They, they, they need that belt for house shows and appearances, so on and so forth. And no way they're, they're going to let some guy go off and make movies with it. That's a mistake that WCW made with David Arquette, and uh, they're, they're not going to do it again. Not to compare The Rock to David Arquette. It's sort of short. It came out because, you know, The Rock's a movie star, and Arquette's. Nobody, <laughs> but um, that, that, that's the way I think of it. Um, but after that, you got um, uh, the Miz versus Rey Mysterio in, in what will be one of the you know the bigger feuds from the undercard guys. And uh, honestly, I think that this could be a very good feud. I I don't really know where you know the Miz, uh, you know what what highlights the Miz is him talking on the mic. I don't really know how he's gonna be able to do this with Mysterio, who's not you know the greatest on the mic. So hopefully this is the where the matches are gonna have to speak for it. The, you know everybody says the Miz can have it on the mic that they give it to him, but they don't really give it to him for his in ring skills. You know the haters out there, and I'm hoping this is what's gonna put him over because I'm not a big Mysterio fan, but I have to give it to Mysterio on matches that he does deliver a lot of times with matches that I don't think they're gonna stand out that end up being really good. So I am hoping for a lot, and I hope this is able to help the Miz out get to that next level. Yes, he was champion for months at a time. Uh, leading up into WrestleMania and after that, but people don't give him his credit. I'm hoping that this Mysterio uh, feud will help him get over the hump to the next thing. Then, uh, two guys that are just being thrown together for no reason at all. Big Show versus Our Truth. I don't even know what to say about this feud. I don't know where it could be, where it's going to come from. Uh, Big Show being the face, Our Truth being the heel. Um, but the booking on this just doesn't uh, make any sense to me. And I don't know. I'm not expecting much out of this at all. Hopefully it doesn't even make SummerSlam. Uh, but uh, then out of that, uh, we also get Kofi Kingston going up into a feud against the real United States All-American American Jack Swagger. Uh, whether this means that one of these guys takes the title from Dolph Ziggler and he's not in the U.S. title hunt anymore, I'm not sure. I'm really high on Dolph Ziggler holding the U.S. title belt. I was, I was hoping that Swagger was going to find a way to win it, but Dolph winning it is uh, the next best thing to me. Uh, Dolph's the guy that, that should be uh, a future main eventer in the WWE. He is a, a, a past, a former World Heavyweight title uh, holder for all of 10 to 15 minutes. Um, but uh, Swagger in this, I think I think a lot of people out of WrestleMania were thinking that Swagger was going to be able to jump out of that hump of being Michael Cole's lucky by winning this belt. And uh, he did get a win over Kofi in a non-title match, but I was hoping for more. Uh, but uh, I'm just looking for good matches from Swagger to get himself out of the hump. If you keep having good matches and you keep getting yourself involved in feuds, you're going to have a future. Um, and that's all we can ask for. So out of those summertime matches, which ones are you guys looking for the most? Um, uh, I haven't really checked out the uh, the SmackDown House shows because the SmackDown House shows aren't coming to California. But 
you know anything, leave a video response, leave some comments, and we'll head our way into SummerSlam. Have a good summer.